Okay. Next, we're going to do straddle pop to start. So we'll get to straddle. How about we uh, go from back fly over to straddle? Okay. We're over to straddle. And watch how she has a deep straddle there. Worst fall I've seen here as you pop to star is if you if you start popping up and the flyer doesn't pike enough, the feet will slip right off and you'll just land on top of each other, which isn't too bad as long as she tucks the chin down and doesn't hit you in the head, okay? So let's show what it should look like. Straddle. Two. Pike. Deeper. One. And push. Push back down. Good straddle pike. So let's break down what just happened and how we can make that work, okay? Okay, back to back fly. Back to straddle. Okay, watch her pike here. It is super deep. If she pikes, my feet have a shelf to rest. If she doesn't pike enough, my feet will slip right off. <laughs> so it's very important that the flyer straddles and pikes as deep as she can. So deep, I just keep the camera off. Uh, that's the idea. You want to really pike those legs so that the base has a shelf to push off of and to catch. Because the more you pike, what happens if you if you overkick and she'll just pike so hard that the flyer, they'll just land back on their feet this way. So deep pike, keep the elbows in. Try not to bring too wide because if you do this, it puts a lot of pressure on your shoulders. But if you bring them in, you have the strength in your shoulders stacked on top of your biceps and your forearms there. So it gives you a lot of pushing strength. So deep pike in the hips, elbows in, count again so the flyer knows when you'll pop. You can say one, two, and pop. And as you pop, the base really pushes off the arms as the flyer pushes through. She pikes deep, 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 pop her really far, and then try to catch her lightly on the shoulders, absorb her weight, and then push back up. Deep pike, one, two, pike, catch, absorb the weight, and then push back up. By absorbing that weight, it makes the catch less jarring as a kicker so hard. Um, it allows the flyer to, to uh, the, the feet for the base to softly land the shoulders, absorbs the weight, kicks back up. Arms the whole time, supporting the flyer up. And we'll exit out. Yeah. I would say a good warm up for that pop is to get into uh, practice some good um, headstands with piking down, straddle, and coming back up. And that what that does is helps you work your arm muscles and your core so that you can hold that pike so the pop um, is held easier. Till next time, this is Yogi Dale and Magda signing off. See you next time.